Hello, it's, it's Sarah. I just wanted to do a quick share on these vertical paper bag mini albums that I'd made. Um, I used the authentic, lovely paper collection. Um, it's a Valentine's collection, so I imagine that I did this around February of this year. Um, and then I just did um, my craft room tour, and I keep this one on display, and um, I realized that I hadn't done a share of it, and I thought that some people would like to see it if they hadn't already um, seen this style. I followed the tutorials by um, my sister Scrappers. She has, uh, she's a mini album lady. She does mini albums, and um, this was where I found it. Um, I had made the other, the horizontal paper bag minis, and seeing the vertical was something new for me, so I wanted to give it a try. This one's really big. I'm going to try. I, mean, I did them in two different sizes. These bags are, the, I think, the smallest bags you can get. They're three and a half, and then I made this by six. And my cover is six and a half by four. So um, this is a nice size. And I did get the bundle, I believe. So I had... The 12 by 12, I bought this at my local craft store, I remember, craft booking store. Um, the 6 by 6 bundle came with um, little cut aparts and different things like that, so I use those to embellish with. Um, so it's, the binding system is, it uses the stack the deck binding system. And then you actually use the opening of the bag in between to adhere them to your binding system. So, like I said, uh, my sister Scrapper has a tutorial, so you can just go ahead and uh, check it out over there. Um, I wanted to also mention that because I le leave this one on display and my craft room is in my basement, it's a bit humid down here. I believe we are going to eventually get um, the, our heating and air run down here too because it does get very humid and we have a dehumidifier but what I'm finding is my point is that I love my ATG gun and previously I would make all my mini albums with my ATG gun um, and I'm finding that it doesn't hold as well as I'd like to think um, I know that oops <clears throat> her name is Zanero one Anna Whenever you watch her tutorials, she uses the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And so for my Itty Bitty Minis, I used this. I might have cheated and done a couple of tags, I mean um, mats with my ATG. But for the construction of the album, I used the glue. And I'm hoping that that's going to be better. Especially since I'm doing a swap, I don't want to give it to someone and have it fall apart. These I knew, I well this one I knew I was keeping for me, but this one, I don't know, the littler one, I may end up trying to sell that at my craft show. I want to see how it holds up, but when I was looking through this just before I did the tutorial, or not tutorial, the share, this is that waterfall that she does, and each of these pieces is just hinged, and then you adhere it to the back with, I think I might have even used like... This isn't the actual brand of it, though. This is the Cheater brand. This is by American Crafts. I can't think of the name of it now. But it's that it's supposed to be that super tacky tape. Not the red line tape, but that other brand. And I can't think of the name. My, I'm brain dead. But, like, if you look at these, they're a little crooked because I think I've had to stick them down again. They've come unstuck. And that bothers me. So, just a heads up that if you're going to make a scrapbook as a gift... You might want to try using a liquid adhesive because um, you don't want it to fall apart. That would be awful. So anyway, this is my cover. I used probably, um, this is the from the paper collection. I just cut that out to my sweetheart. It's a little postcard letter looking thing. I used bling and flowers. I mean, you can see what I did. Um, some little um, jewelry pieces and a button. And I love metal embellishments, so I did that. I had this little uh, birdhouse in my stash with a bow, so I put that. And I did a big old chunky uh, dangle back here. It's just kind of a bunch of colors from the from the line, I guess. Pinks and golds and keys. It's it's kind of like 
antique -y, I guess, stuff, a heart, and some fibers. And then on the inside cover, there are these three pockets. And she teaches you how to do all this. I think I fudged these. I just used my um, heart stamp, my heart punch, and went back to back with those. I thought that was cute to use as pulls to get the little tags out. And then each page, which this is a paper bag, and this is the back of the bag, and it makes a pocket there. So this is the bottom of the bag here. Um, and then you use the top for a big um, photo mat. So these are quite large, these bags. These are at least eight by something. I don't know, I can measure. But um, oh, you gotta make sure you get it in the right side. In the back of the um, bag is the deeper part, I think. Nope, that's the shallow part. In the front of the bag is the deeper part. There's, that's why on the other, um, the horizontal bag, my itty bitty mini that I did that way with the horizontal ones, I showed you there's two pockets and one goes all the way down and one doesn't, but anyway. So then you actually put this flap, see, look, it's coming undone a little bit. That, this should be butt up against this and it's like, I can't wiggle it free, but this is in between the folds of the bag and that's what makes your flap. So that's one page, and then you have the little pocket behind, and I made these little, all these little cut aparts are from the paper line, so cute. And it also had like lacy patterns on the paper. See, this is like from the paper, and it's like little cut apart. So I thought lacy little um, embellishments look cute. So, and then there's a, po uh, a big pocket back there. So each page has that, a small pocket, a small, it's a shallow pocket here, that's the bottom of the bag. And then this hinged page flap. And then I made a few pockets too because the paper had these cutter parts that you just couldn't not use. You had to, didn't want to waste them. So, um, and then I just adhered this little pocket. She, she's very, uh, my sister Scrapper is very good um, with all her little extras. Her, they call it interactive parts of the um, mini album that make it interesting. Little hidden pockets and different things for you to sneak pictures into and all that stuff so I just wanted to give a share this paper is really pretty I think it's last year's um, Valentine's paper so I just wanted to quickly have a share of that and then um, I like these um, these paper flowers too I don't use these a lot but they're very good for mini album um, embellishing inside the album because it doesn't fatten it up too much so here's, like I said, this is the waterfall. It's such a cool um, interactive part, and it lays flat and everything, so it doesn't take up too much time, but, I mean, time, space. But I would recommend using a, um, a liquid adhesive, because otherwise you might find out that maybe it's too humid where you live, too, and things are going to fall apart. So, all right, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that. This is just the smaller version. It's basically the same thing, the flaps all the tags and cut aparts. I'm going to run out of time, but um, it's the same construction. It's the stack the deck and just the paper. When you can get a paper line that has all these little extra cut aparts and stuff, it really makes the job of embellishing so much easier. You really don't have to think about it. You just go ahead and, you know, you can punch a few hearts out and things like that, but I mean, it's it makes it, see look, that, that looks like it came unstuck down here, or I, my ATG came unstuck so liquid glue liquid glue lesson learned there yeah I mean this is I made these probably when I first like a while ago actually yeah February so I was new to scrap um making these and um yeah lesson learned but um okay guys that's it for now thanks for watching